Starbeck Educational Resources are the specialist supplier of exciting, inexpensive, unusual, history, art, religion and cultural artifacts. Whether you are an existing customer of Starbeck Educational Resources, or are looking into buying from us for the first time, we hope this video will allow you to visualize the contents of one of our range of value boxes. In this case, the Ancient Egyptian Value Box. Our Egypt Value Box is made up of 16 items. In this video, I will take you through each individual item in turn. Items can also be individually purchased on our website. The first item to your left is the Anubis. Anubis is one of the most iconic gods of ancient Egypt. He was originally a god of the underworld, but became associated specifically with the embalming process and funeral rites. The ancient Egyptians believed that the preservation of the body and the use of sweet-smelling herbs and plants would help the deceased because Anubis would sniff the mummy and only let the pure move on to paradise. Above me is a figure of Ramses, who was one of the greatest pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Ramses was also known as Ramses the Great. He was given this name because he was known as a great military leader. He also built many temples and buildings throughout ancient Egypt. Huge statues of him can be found all over Egypt. The brass ankh to your right is an ancient Egyptian symbol. It looks rather like a key. The ankh symbol was used in hieroglyphics and in designs. Some historians think the Ankh was the symbol for the key that opened the door to the afterlife. Others think it might have represented the key that turned on the annual flooding of the Nile each year. Of course, the Ankh might not even represent a key. Following on with the afterlife theme is our decorative sarcophagus. A sarcophagus is a stone container for a coffin or body, which were usually carved, decorated, or built ornately. Some were built to be freestanding above ground, as a part of an elaborate tomb. Others were made for burial, or were placed in crypts. In ancient Egypt, a sarcophagus was usually the external layer of protection for a royal Egyptian mummy, with several layers of coffins nested within. According to archaeologists, Cleopatra is the first queen to have her picture placed on the coin individually, despite the participation of a number of kings with her during her reign. Cleopatra was a queen of ancient Egypt. She wanted to make her country more powerful. To do so, she got the help of two leaders of ancient Rome, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. However, a third Roman leader, Augustus, defeated her. The artifact to your right is a canopic jar. Preserving your body was an important job in ancient Egypt. Part of the process was to remove your internal organs. Your organs were carefully stored in canopic jars. The one organ they did not remove was the heart. That was left in the body so it could be weighed by the gods, to see if you had earned your way into the land of two fields, the afterlife. Our fabulous two-ton car moon to your left, is one of the most well-known ancient Egyptian kings in modern times. Interestingly, he was not considered to be very important in ancient times and was not recorded on most ancient king lists. However, the discovery of his tomb in 1922 made him a celebrity. King Tut's tomb was one of the few that had not been robbed. The well-preserved items in the tomb gave archaeologists an idea of what may have been in other kings' tombs. The vibrant, colorful, card pack above represents a set of 11 beautiful hand-tinted postcards of treasures found in the tombs of Tutankhamun. Tunkar Moon. This Egyptian white lamp is based on an original lamp from the 2nd to 4th century AD. Frogs were a common theme for oil lamps during this period, as frogs were a symbol of fertility and renewal. The Egyptians used oil lamps to light their homes. They would pour oil into a central hole in the lamp, which would then sit in a store in the bowl. A piece of string or linen would then be dipped into the oil and this would soak up the oil and light, producing a steady flame like a candle. Then people could hold the lamp without burning themselves and place it in a lamp holder or a hook on the wall. Amulets in ancient Egypt were both decorative and practical, as they were considered as having powers to protect or bestow power upon the wearer. Not only worn by the living, amulets have been found inside the wrappings of mummies, as they were used to prepare the deceased for the afterlife. Amulets held different meanings, depending on their type or form. 
The scarab beetle is the next item in our jam-packed value box. The sacred scarab of ancient Egypt was the dung beetle, an insect that lives off the waste of herbivorous animals. The Egyptians assigned gods to all kinds of things, and they saw the young beetles emerging from their circular dung balls as symbols of the sun, which is also spherical and emerges each day. Papyrus was a weed that grew wildly along the banks of the Nile River. It grew about 10 feet high. It was used to make everything. The ancient Egyptians used papyrus to make paper, baskets, sandals, mats, rope, blankets, tables, chairs, mattresses, medicine, perfume, food, and clothes. As you can see, some of the designs and colors were beautiful. The Great Sphinx is a stone monument built about 4,500 years ago. It is located on the Giza Plateau in Egypt. It was carved out of limestone with a human face on a lion's body. It is 66 feet tall. A sphinx is a creature found in ancient myths and legends which has the head of a human and the body of a lion. The Great Sphinx faces the sunrise and guards the pyramid tombs of Giza. Hieroglyphics is the ancient text that was used to write in ancient Egypt. There are over 1,000 different symbols that are used. Some of the symbols are used to make sounds while some are used to make different letters of the alphabet. There are even pictures that stand for whole words. Hieroglyphs were written on papyrus, carved in stone on tomb and temple walls, and used to decorate many objects of cultic and daily life use. The next item is an obelisk, which was a monument made of stone. Each obelisk was placed in a public place. In ancient Egypt, obelisks were often built in pairs. Some were not very high. But some were 70 feet tall. A few were even taller. They were very heavy and very impressive. The ancient Egyptians were clever. They found a way to stand these huge stones upright after they had been decorated and carved with writing, telling of the wonderful life and great achievements of the person each obelisk honored. Our final item is the Bast Cat, who was worshipped as a goddess of war and the protector of Lower Egypt. Over time, however, the role and appearance of the goddess evolved. Bast the fierce lioness changed into Bastet, the goddess of domestic cats. The ancient Egyptians placed great value on cats because they protected the crops and slowed the spread of disease by killing vermin, and Bast was seen as a protective goddess. That concludes our overview of our Egyptian value box. Please do not hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions to do with the contents of our Egyptian value box, or any other items you have seen from Starbeck Educational Resources. You can do this via our email address. Info at starbeck.education. Or by telephone, using the number on the screen. I'd also recommend checking out our website, where you will find more details and specialist items, tailored to meet your teaching needs. Our website is www.starbeck.education. I hope you found this video helpful.